This is it. This is the guy we've all been waiting for. This is something else, Steve said. Gable Stevenson and I were teammates at Apple Valley High School for four years. His eighth grade year, he was second in the state. And from then on, it was winning. Well, you look at Gable Stevenson, he is showtime. 125 pound style of wrestling and a 250 pound body. He's gonna blow the doors <laughs> off this place. <laughs> I remember the discussions of Gable being the next Kale Sanderson, the next four-time undefeated NCAA champion. The feeling of having almost otherworldly expectations, it's tough. My story has been proving people wrong because I've just been behind. I've always been the underdog. I never was that prodigy or top recruit. But, you know, God blessed me with that unrealistic belief in myself. Coming into my freshman year was the number one recruiting class, the three ends. We had Nickel, Nevels, and Nolf. When I saw the Flow Wrestling post, I was just happy to be. And also, you know, we have Anthony Kassar. And I was like, sweet, you know, they, they, they know who I am. I've been doing Penn State wrestling for over 30 years. I do remember talking to a couple of the coaches during Anthony's freshman year, and they're like, this kid is the real deal. Going into the Big Tens, they're held in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in Gable Stevenson's backyard. Drives through, and that takes care of business. Gable Stevenson is riding a win streak dating back to high school of over 200 matches. And then he has just an unbelievable freshman season. Doesn't just go 30 and 0 going into the Big Ten finals, but he dominates everybody. The question is, can anybody keep it close? Very much looking forward to seeing how Anthony Kassar can do against the number one ranked wrestler in the country. As a teammate to both these guys, it was such an odd feeling. It was cool, but it sucked. <laughs> Here we go. What you would believe is the top test of the year for the undefeated true freshman. They made Gable out to be a god. But I said to Anthony, Gable is going to be a champion, but not this year. This is your year. I had my doubts as to whether or not Kassar could win. It was almost shocking that we were into the third period and Gable Stevenson had no takedowns on the board. You know, we were both actively trying to score, hand fighting hard, and then the third period got a little crazy. Look at this Matt return. Boom. Oh. <laughs> wow. Watching Gable pick up Tony like that, I look around at my teammates, I'm like, I told you this kid was good. He's made a statement, Jim. Yeah, he did. When Gable took Anthony down, I just remember saying a prayer for him, like, OK, like, refocus. It was a similar feeling and experience that I've had with Anthony's matches, like, you got to go, Ant. You got to go. It gets down to about 30 seconds, and I shoot a double leg. Then instead of driving through, I bowed back to use the momentum against him. Now Kassara winding up a double leg. He's in on a single. He drops Mason with a double leg. Anthony Kassar with a 4-3 lead. I didn't necessarily like scream, but my eyes started to well because I really believed it was going to happen. A got to have it situation. Tony has to ride him out. Gable has to get away. He gets to his feet, and I go to Matt return him, and he's so athletic that he kind of cartwheels over my body. Stevenson tries to have over. Kassar brings him back. They go off the edge with two seconds left. Oh, baby. 
Gable's nose is bleeding. And so I just gave him the Tony two fingers and, and told him to come back. Gasar waving Stevenson back to the center of the mat. He says, come on, let's go. I remember thinking it was bold. I remember thinking like, wow, you're feeling really good. Wow. Anthony Kassar stuns. I don't know that I've ever felt as good for a wrestler than Anthony Kassar. That moment, just even in the moment, it's like, oh man, that was special. Anthony Kassar wins the big ten titles. Kassar looks over, just that little moment of, yeah, I, I had it. I, I knew I had it. His mouth guard says it, champ. You are a Big Ten champion, slaying the Giants to win the title. Over the past five years, I've worked harder and more committed than anyone, and I won it more than anyone. In one way, it's expected, but then the other way, the little kid inside of you is like, you're actually doing what you said you were going to do.